All right, I'm back. Uh, did a little work already. Got the back masked off because I'm going to spray this black on the outside. Uh, windows are done. All except one. I'll show you how I did the windows. Uh, I this, oh, the front grill's done. Get that in there. Came out all right. So, front bumper, lower bumper's done. Yeah, looks good. And all I got left to do is uh, put that in and spray some paint on it. Alright, so what I do to mask the windows is I mark the outside where the glass is so I know where the edges are at. Just like that. See a little blue crap. Put it over. Grab the window mask. See if I can get in here so you can see. I basically want to line it up. part of it up slowly bring it down and as you'll see I got green all, all over these windows it's because the uh, mask is smaller than the window you see I got a little ledge right here a little uh, edge so if I paint that without fixing that it's gonna leave the color there and then uh, the, I decided I'm gonna put the uh, Put these on there. These, because it's a little thinner than. Uh, if I cut that out, it's going to be really fat, and it's going to look not right. So that's why you see the green to bring the glass more. So when I put the black window trim on there, it'll look better. So I got a little bit of tape on this one, and then that, it's just right there. It looks pretty good. Tape. Use good tape. Use automotive performance masking tape. Don't use garbage. You'll pay the price for it. It'll bleed through. Alright, about that long. And just going to lay it in here like this. Rub it down real good. Knife. I know this blade stall. This is be the third one I put in there. There we go. And just bring it out. Grab that. Pull that crap off. Bottom, follow the bottom line. I don't know if you can see that, and you probably can't. Oh shit, try to keep straight and pull that crap off. That'll be good enough. All right, last thing before you do it is uh, blow it out and rub your finger around all your uh, window mass. Make sure they're tight, otherwise it's going to bleed through. We'll bleed through. Alright, so we'll uh, meet you out. We're going to do it outside. I do have a paint booth over here. But we're going to do it outside. It's nice out there. So I'll meet you outside. Alright. This can's been shooken up. I usually put it in hot water for a little bit. It helps the uh, paint thin out. Oh, that's nice. Double check it, because once you start going, you're done. All right. The initial spray, I just give that to the wind. What it's going to do is just dust it. Light, even coats. Don't worry about covering that crap up in one coat because it ain't going to happen. Around them windows. let her dry for a little bit and we'll come back to her and if it's a buggy day or you got a bunch of 
crap floating around out here. We got a little, try to keep the body down. But this is a uh, PS23 gunmetal. Same thing I painted that TRX4. So, I'm gonna keep laying this down. I'll do one more coat. And then I'll cut it into the finished product. All right, one more coat. Once again, man, take your time. Don't, don't try to rush this crap. That, that's nothing but problems when you try to rush it. You want a nice even coat? The cans are like seven bucks each, man, so. You want to try to get it all in one can. Because you still got to back it with some silver or black, depending on how dark you want this. I think I'm going to do silver. All right. We'll bring you back when it's done. All right. Putting on the last of the uh, gunmetal gray. I kind of hold it up to the light a little bit and see where I can see through it. Let you know where it's a little light. I already know where it's a little light on the sides. Like I said, don't do this shit in the house. Oh crap, this is silver. <laughs> all right. I'm doing it backing it with silver. I was gonna put a little more paint on it. I didn't need it. I was just gonna do it for you guys, but I could have backed it with black, but then uh it might make it a little darker. Try to keep it as light as possible because I'm gonna put some black decals on it. I don't want to totally dry it, drown them out. You don't need a lot of this on there. Make sure you get around everything. That's enough silver. All right. Next, we're gonna take the masking off the back of here. And we're going to pay it, spray the PS5 black. So by the time it's all said and done, you're going to have three colors on the inside and another paint on the outside. So, and then when we come back, we'll be spraying black. Alright, uh, gunmetal's done, silver's done. Pulled the tape off the inside so I can spray the black. The reason I spray the black on the inside when I'm going to spray this on the outside is so when they scratch this off, the outside paint, it's not going to show gunmetal or some other color, whatever color would be in there. So I just, it's just a long term thing. It looks better. Alright. Basically, we're just going to dust it real good, especially on the sides and this back. It doesn't have to be covered real good here. Just and it's just so when you look through the windows, you don't see the silver. So that looks like crap. Alright. dry a little bit. See, I sprayed it a little bit there. That's alright. It's got the protective film on it. Let's look around and see if there's any bleed through. A little right there. A little right there. It's alright. A little right there. Nothing's gonna make any difference. All right, so when we come back, uh, the black will be done. All right, the uh, gunmetal's on, silver's on, black's on. Had to go back outside, hit it a little bit more here, because when I looked at it in sunlight, you could kind of see through it, so I hit it some more black, sprayed that a little more while I was out there. And I uh, also masked off this area and this area, because both these areas are gonna be painted semi-flat black. I've already cut around the edge of the green tape for the area I want to pull off. Let's see if we can get this one. Ooh. There we go. Gotta do that kind of slow, make sure you didn't uh, miss a spot when you're uh, going around it. All right. It'll work. All right, you still gotta scuff this stuff. 
because uh, this outdoor paint and this plastic paint needs to fit on it. Just go be careful because you don't want to you don't want to mess up the tape. You're gonna leave that there. Guff it up. Same with this. Is that better? <laughs> All right, so you get a general idea. So. All right, welcome back outside. This is a Cryolime Fusion All-in-One Paint Plus Primer, Satin Black. You see how this label's black? There's a bunch of different Cryolime Fusion. Some of them are white labels, some of them are different labels. It's not black because the paint's black. It's that's the the product. It's it's different. The other ones don't. This is the best one for spraying the outside. Just make sure you scuff it with three head pads. Scuff it with that, you'll be fine and use this stuff. Don't use the white label or blue label or whatever else. Other labels there are. So we're gonna spray this and we're gonna spray all that. And we're not gonna do it over here on the table because the wife will get mad. I'm gonna do it over on this table. Though. Once again, light coats. A little dust. Put it on heavy. It's not going to be semi-gloss. Let that dry. I'll come back when it's done. And we'll uh, peel the uh, protective coat off. See how she looks. All right. Uh, Gunmetal's painted. Silver's back. Done that. Black is back. Done that. Now take care of the inside, the outside, this has all been sprayed with Krylon, all-in-one paint plus primer, satin black. Take your time with this, no rush. Keep it back, that way it leaves a texture in it and it looks, and it keeps it uh, more plasticky looking than uh, shiny, glossy paint. Alright, let's peel this crap off and see what we got. Everybody likes this part. electricity okay all done ta-da this is my vision <laughs> this is what I ended up with I had some problems with the uh, decals they had a nice tiger effect with the TRD in there 4x4 I put that crap on there it looked crappy and then plus with all these extra bends it's hard to get it in there then you get air bubbles trapped in there and the decals were a little thick in my opinion, but hey, that's just me. So, if I, was, I actually went through like two or three different decals on the back before I finally ended up with that one. So, I was like, eh, whatever. I'm only going to spend all day on it. It's a, it's a body for a crawler. It's not going in a museum. Uh, it's going to get tore up, I think. Whoever ends up with it will tear it up probably. But uh, all in all, it's not bad. Let's take a look at it here. I don't have this thing strapped on my head. I got this fancy turny thing though. Look at that. Some may like that white crap on there, some may not. I did have to break out my AARP card to apply the decals and I did use a little uh, glass cleaner on the back side so it slid a little bit so I could line it up. Uh, test that with it, one of your decals you're not going to use off your sheet with a little glass cleaner on the back and then put it on there and take your uh, credit card AARP card whatever the hell you got and push all that water out of there that glass cleaner and it'll lay them out better and they'll get rid of the bubbles and stuff so 
Uh, nah, not bad. It is what it is. Some of the decals, I think, are oversized. Like the V6 SR5, that's oversized. That Toyota is oversized. The Tacoma, I think that's about the right size. Uh, if you notice here in the back, right there where I did that little red thing, that decal is actually a piece of some other decal for some other car that I cut down to size and stuck it on there. Looks like a freaking tail light. Unbelievable. Always save your decals. You never know when you need them. There's the back of the bed. I don't know if you can see that. The black. That black's on there. It'll scrape off if you hit it hard enough, but you're not going to see nothing because it's black underneath. So anyway, there it is. All done. Came out all right. I'm semi-happy with it. I'm not crying. But you got to remember, it's going on something that's going to get beat up. I'm not one to put 50 hours into a body just so I can tear it up. All right. And finally, the cost. I think the body was 50 bucks, 55 bucks. It's kind of up there compared to some of the pro lines or something, but it does have a lot of detail. And uh, three cans of paint at $7 each and one can of Krylon for the outside. Now, if you already got this stuff, you're good to go. But if you got to go buy it, it's that you're looking at another 30 bucks so you're looking at 80 bucks for a body by the time it's all said and done you might save a little money if you just like paint it black and that'd only be one can but that's yeah if that's what you want that's what you want all right the build was pretty easy quality's nice uh it won't fit on a trx4 without modifications and it won't fit on a scx10 Two without modifications but you can do it if you want to sit there and modify it but other than that that's it probably got 10 hours invested in it and that includes dry time for the paint so it's not that much work just take your time don't rush it and you'll end up with this all right i hope this helps hope somebody learned something uh, gives you some ideas or whatever other than that good to go all right till next time